Two scary indicators from the recent market watch that may surprise you. Stay tuned to this episode of Prime Props TV. I promise you it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Hope you all have been doing very, very well. It's a strangely cold start to spring. And right now, because of that spring market, I am running on fumes and a lot of coffee and a little bit of lack of sleep, I would say. Miniature midday naps have kind of been the saving grace to my sanity as of late. Last week, we got the stats for March 2018 and they just came in and there are two very scary indicators I want to address in this video. But before we do that, let me give you the stats. And as usual, you can access my Excel file where I analyze the numbers in the Dropbox link below. First things first, I have to say hats off to half the media for being bullish on the market and hats off to the other half of the media for being bearish on the market for basically confusing everybody at this point. It seems depending on how you interpret the data and stats, you could write a different story. Hmm. Who knew, right? So if you've been following some of the media headlines, for those of you following the transactional part of the stats, it'll tell you the sky is actually falling and saying sales are down 30% in the 416 and 40% in the nano five. The key point here is sales are down, which means transactions from last year's white hot March, not prices. On the other hand, we have the more bullish media headlines saying that this is the first time we've seen month to month stat increases three times in a row since the introduction of the foreign buyers tax and that the market is actually slowly accelerating. Neither one is wrong, but let's go deeper into the numbers and give you a little bit more of the stats with a little bit of sprinkling of firsthand experience from myself and then we'll come to a conclusion. Here's a chart that was nicely put together by the National Post showing the average price of each month in the last three years. We're trending upwards for sure going into spring market right now. So it is very true that we have three months of increases for the first time ever since April 2017. I'm glad the media is finally using month to month stats because the market's been changing so often and that's a better indicator for now. So here are the month to month stats over here. If we look at the larger detaches in the Nano 5, the prices are still very, very slowly going up and three months in a row that is actually still true in the nano five. What's surprising me a little bit is that prices are only down 17% in this segment of the market from last year's white hot March. I was expecting at least 20%. So this could be an indicator that could be some more action happening and the prices aren't as low as we all think they are. This means that if you bought at the so-called peak of late March and early April last year, prices are only down 70%. Don't get me wrong, 70% on a million dollar home is still a lot of money, but I was expecting a lot more. On the condo side, we're up about 10% from the peak. So if we're still up, it's not really a peak. Same goes for towns in the four and six, exactly what was expected. So what's the verdict here again? I will repeat this just like last month. The market is incredibly active and hot for properties that are less than $800,000 and quite slow for properties over $1.2 million for one reason affordability. So I do think there's a lot of pent up buyer demand in the sub $800,000 market. And we're likely going to be seeing that in the, in the coming two months. So brace yourself. Overall, I think the market is fairly healthy right now. And so what leads me to saying there's two scary indicators that I was mentioning earlier in the video? Well, here it is. Number one, if you look at the condo prices in the last two months, the prices are going up on average 4% a month. A month. This is scary because we're heading into the spring market with this trend and listings for good condos I see are getting snatched up instantly or fought for with five offers on offer day right now before spring market. The 4% per month increase is quite similar and reminiscent of the detaches in the peak market of 2017. That is scary. Remember when we saw headlines saying that houses prices were going up $2,200 per day? Well, if you look at the data right now, condo prices are going up $642 a day for an asset that is a third of the price almost of a detach, which means if you extrapolate the scale, it's getting eerily similar to what we saw last year in the detaches. Number two, the second thing I was looking at in stats is a month of inventory right now. Currently, we're looking at about 2.2 months of inventory in GTA, which is not crazy compared to our norm. But if we look at the parts of Toronto where all the downtown condos are in C01 and C03, and also the Midtown Freeholds by Eglinton and Lawrence, the month of inventory is looking mightily scary and reminiscent of the detaches in 2017. We're getting awfully close to one month of inventory or less, which is what we saw last year in 2017 for the detaches. 
All right, guys, I'm not trying to scare you, but obviously this points to the market being a little bit more crazy hot in these segments right now, despite the government thinking they could cool the market completely with these rule changes. Now, with provincial elections around the corner, we're probably not looking at any major interventions from the government until at least we know who our premier is. So I think we have a free market for at least a few more months. So if you're getting ready to buy or sell something in the spring market, make sure you call me, a realtor who actually knows what's going on so you can navigate these perils correctly. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something in this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you like the content, make sure to subscribe to Prime Property CEO channel right here. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or contact me directly. My contacts will be here. Until next time, guys, happy real estate. Quite active.